Hey, so I have been experimenting with some new retinols in my skincare and I thought I'd quickly share them with you. This is not going to be a very detailed review, just a speedy review, like Shreya Jane says it. But here it is. The first one I'm talking about is the Secrets of Jeju Island Pilgrim's Rosehip and Retinol Oil. Rosehip and Retinol such a great combination. Rosehip oil is now recommended by dermatologists when you're working at your acne scars or you're feeding your uneven skin tone or dullness or even pigmentation. This particular oil looks very, very nice and packs a lot of promise in terms of, you know, being able to lighten it because it also has retinol. It has almost 1% retinol, which is a great combination. It goes in very smoothly, very, very gently. It also has avocado. So if you feel that your skin kind of reacts to retinols or can have a little bit of sensitivity, the avocado will make sure that it's gently taken care of and you don't have any inflammation. In fact, it's soothing for your skin. So a great combination. Um, I particularly like it. I am a little off with the fragrance. I really liked it for its gentleness and the fact that it went on so smoothly. You know how much of an oil junkie I am. I just love oils in my skincare. So totally love this product. It's in my test and I'm going to be doing a more detailed video in the few weeks to come. Along with that, I've also been testing out the retinol uh, night cream from again pilgrims it's uh, very nicely done beautifully formulated and has this nice yellowy kind of a finish but goes in very very beautifully and what i like about these moisturizers is now that they don't kind of sit on your skin totally disappear into the skin and you know, you can't feel it after some time, which is incredibly important when you're doing a night routine with a retinol because you don't want the moisturizer to be reacting to the retinol, in fact, complementing it. Along with retinol, this cream also has 5% vitamin C. So massive fading and massive rejuvenation of your skin, massive help for uneven skin tone if that's what your concern is. I think it's a brilliant product from Pilgrim. So Pilgrim and I have had like a love-hate relationship. I love their vitamin C's and then they stopped declaring the quantity of retinol that they have and then I kind of broke off with the brand. So I really feel it's a brand with a lot of promise and a lot of great products. I've not had a reason to complain with their vitamin C at all. In fact, I think it's one of my most favorite vitamin C's. It's oil based, it's very gentle, which goes in very well for my dry, dehydrated skin. Along with that, I've also been uh, using the Advanced Repair Night Cream from Wish Care. It's again a collagen boosting cream. It's got retinol in it and is beautifully fragranced. It's got very light, very nice fragrance. It's a great night cream. It goes in very nicely this gets absorbed beautifully and that's what you want right I am kind of particular about my moisturizers just kind of disappearing into my skin and not forming a film on my skin so beautiful they also have this fantastic pro collagen retinol serum which has great ingredients the star ingredients are brilliant it's got niacinamide for added fading it's got bakuchiol it's got rosehip oil it's got avocado uh, no avocado it's got squalene in it um, what i really liked about this particular serum is that even though it's a two percent gran active retinol which can get a little uh, strong for some people, it does not irritate your skin at all. I had someone who had never used retinol use it and they absolutely loved the serum. But of course, all retinol products must be introduced very slowly. So first week, just once. Second week, you may want to listen to your skin. If it can, take it, bump it up to two and then three. So typically when you start retinol serum, give yourself at least four, four and a half weeks to really get onto using it for three times a week. And that is pretty much how much you should be using. Let me know if you've used any of these retinol products and what your experience has been. I'm going to be doing a very detailed review in the coming weeks, so stay tuned. For more on these, I'm going to meet you in the comment section.